Thanks for joining me for um, season one, episode two of my live streams. Um, I've had a had a good week. Did some cloud pours this week. Um, had some good success. Tried to do a little bit with the um, Halloween theme, and I think I did pretty good. Um, the two paintings that I did were both cloud pours, and um, I'll get to those um, in a few minutes. But um, I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about the new format. Uh, if some of you guys have been um, subscribed for a while, you can definitely see the changes, the progression that we've made. And when I say we, my husband is now my video editor. Um, and you probably have seen his recent <clears throat> video that he released without my knowledge <clears throat> on Friday, which was great, by the way. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're constantly trying to uh, upgrade and make the channel better for you guys, better content, uh, better equipment so we can bring you guys better content. And... Um, so just kind of curious if you guys are uh, have any um, questions or comments about the new format. If you go back to my very first video and then a new video, crazy, crazy, crazy. I think I was recording on an old iPad. It was it was kind of bad quality. I mean the new iPads. I have a brand new one and it's great now, but the old one's not so good to record on. Um, got a nice upgraded camera and mic and you know all that stuff so it's uh, a much better um, quality so let me see anybody going here <laughs> not, not so much um so what i'm going to jump right in to my two videos of the week they were both um, cloud pours cloud effect pours the first one if I can get it here. I did um, white, black, and orange. And I used the cloud effect white on this one and you can see all the nice poofy clouds that I got in there. This color is blended really, really nice in this one. So I really do like it. The orange is really kind of bright in some areas and then softer in other areas. So I think this really is really nice. It's more of a lighter, um, lighter painting, just softer. So that one I do really like. And then there's the second <laughs> video that I did. And this one is um, very much dark. It's very creepy <laughs> almost. Um, I named it Haunted Souls. I don't normally name my paintings every once in a while I do um, but this one kind of just struck me if you can see it's just like the souls are kind of just like ooh, going there um, this kind of, I mean it I did get some cloud effect it's really hard to see because of the black so I think with this one I would definitely try to use a little bit less black um, or more of the other color. Either way, um, just because the black didn't really get to, you don't get to see the clouds, the cloud effect, I guess. It's not really, they're dark clouds, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so, so this one I do like. I mean, it does go with kind of the Halloween theme. If you guys can see that, I don't know how good you guys can see that. Is there a glare on it? This way? So you can definitely see uh, it's it's sort of creepy <laughs> all right so that was that one now like I said with that one I'm gonna try to maybe experiment a little bit more with the black cloud effect I think my white cloud effect I've got that one down pretty good I usually get really good results um, with my mix that I use with that the black one um, I'm gonna tweak um, just a, just a little bit and see how that goes. Um, let's see, Melanie Davis. Hi, Melanie. 
What am I gonna question about folk art? Milk paint, when I mix mine, it's always really chalky. I actually, Melanie, I haven't used the chalk paint yet. So I can't, I can, once I use it, I can um, do a review on it or, and let you guys know. I'll do um, some videos on that. So I'll have to kind of get back with you on that one. But I'm glad you brought that to my attention so that I can um, pay attention to that when I'm mixing mine. All right, so I will get back with you on that. Um, and then um, what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to do a cloud effect pour. I'm going to do a kiss pour with cloud effect. And I want to show you guys my favorite painting out of all the paintings that I've done. This one was a kiss pour with cloud effect, and it is my absolute favorite. So I want to show you this one. I don't know if you can see that. It I got just beautiful color, beautiful results. Lots of cloud effect. The lines are just uh, amazing. I mean, just look at this color. It's 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 just beautiful. I love it. Can you see it very well, my love? Okay. I just want to make sure that they get a good view cuz it's just a gorgeous painting. All right, so I'm gonna try to um, recreate <laughs> this one. I don't know. The difference will be when I did this painting. It was one of from an experiment. I did. I've done two experiments in the very beginning with the deco art satin enamel, and that that painting was with deco art satin enamel and the artist loft flow acrylic. But I have since started using the bare. Um, the bare satin enamel. This is what I generally uh, use now because I get really great results when I mix this with the Artist Loft. So I'm going to see if I can get those same results, sort of, just because I love that painting. It's just, I just love it. It's my favorite. So um, I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on any questions about the week, the videos for the week. Let me just go to the comments. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carrie. Kitty. I was hoping you got your painting, Carla, but I've been tracking the shipping. I really thought that it would be there by Saturday. I mailed it on Tuesday, I think. Um, so I'm kind of mad that you didn't, that at least the shipping tracking doesn't show that it's gotten to you yet. Um, so hopefully you get it Monday for sure. Because it was, I think, t I mailed it two days, so... You should have gotten it. Anyway, um, thank you guys for um, joining me again. Some of you were here on my first. Hi, Tammy. Um, some of you guys were here on my first one. Um, so I didn't scare you off, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> you wanted to come back for some more of the, the nonsense. Um, I don't know if you guys, um, I guess I should probably touch on, again, the uh, video that my husband released on Friday the funny little baby shark video which I don't have small children my my small children have fur our our youngest is 17 you know he's about to leave the nest you know next year um so we don't have any babies and this baby shark song is always in my head that and the office intro if you guys watch the office love 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 that but baby shark is always stuck in my head and when we first got our new iPhones and they had some upgrades and everything and we got those of course that's the first thing I did and my husband saved it and so he thought it would be funny and it is and I have quite a sense of humor so I guess if you can't make fun of yourself <laughs> I said this to my sister today if you can't make fun of yourself and she said make fun of your mom <laughs> Which is usually what, what we do anyway. Because, <laughs> you know, our mom is funny and she does crazy stuff like we do, um, me and my other sister. So that's probably where we get it from. All right, so let me see. I'm not scared yet. Still so excited. Yay. All right. Beautiful painting. Yes, I love, I love that painting. All right, so um, did you guys have any uh, questions about the paintings that I did this week? I've been um, doing some experimenting also. Oh, I did want to let you guys know some of the uh, next 
next week's video. Maybe the following week is still some old format mixed with new. It's like half and half because um, my husband got me a, um, a gimbal and I didn't really know what that was. It You put your phone on it or your camera and it just like, it, you kind of steer it with your hand or it tracks like your face and it it's really cool. And so some of that footage was before we had the gimbal or two because then he had to get one also. So we've got two of those. But anyway, um, love your humor. Always make my day. Good. Good. I love, I'm, I'm glad that you get a little uh, laugh from me. That's great. Um, cause if you can't, if you can't laugh, I mean, you gotta laugh. I mean, if you, if you're all serious all the time, that's no fun. You gotta, you gotta have fun in your life. So anyway, so back to the, the old video content. Um, it's going to be mixed with some old and some new. So within the next few weeks, we should completely be switched on to, um, the new format. And also I do have, uh, my wine. I'm actually finishing up the bottle from last week. Oh, it's empty now. So I'm going to take a quick sip. And again, that one's my favorite. So I like a sweet wine, not a, a dry, a dry red wine. Oh, yikes. My husband likes those dry, like German wines. Whew, they are strong as heck. But he loves Germany. So I know he keeps wanting to move there. Uh-uh, not moving there. But he said I would love it there. He said it's beautiful. So maybe one day. So um, anyway, no questions about the videos that I did this week, the black, orange, and uh, white. Like I said, I'm going to try to perfect, well, tweak until I get a, few, a little bit of better results with the black cloud effect. Um, I did do kind of a cool painting. My husband apparently wants me to show you guys because he keeps picking it up and I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. Um, I'm working on using, I'm gonna make sure it's the right way. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because this is a very, very abstract. Um, I'm working on doing, uh, using Liquitex pouring medium, layering. I don't know if you can see the real shiny parts. So I'm, I'm experimenting with layering it He's, he's trying to show me how to, <laughs> so you guys can see how it's, can you, is it working? This way? Oh, this way. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm experimenting with layering Liquitex in with my colors. And if you can see, I'm going to stand up a bit. There you go. You can see like this corner. I actually mixed the glitter in with it and I had painted the canvas black because um, I went to buy black canvas and I didn't have any. So I had to do it the old school way and I had to paint it myself, which was fine. But you can see when Liquitex dries, it dries clear. So you can see like over here, it's clear and you can sort of see the black, but you can also see the color in there. And then randomly through the painting, you can see where there's the Liquitex. It's, it's turning out really cool. Now I'm going to be doing, here you go, love. I'm going to be... Um, probably experimenting a little bit more with that. I think the video for that's in a couple weeks. I've done, um, I think, two experiments on that. So we'll see. Um, let's see. It's 10 in the morning here in Australia. Well, that's not so bad. You're just starting out your day. Maybe you could, instead of wine, some coffee. But I wouldn't judge if you had a glass of wine at 10 a.m. Because there's some mornings I feel like having a glass of wine at 10 a.m. And it's Australia. most mornings. <laughs> Because it's chaos here a lot of times with all these dogs in the house. I don't know, last video, some of you guys, or last uh, live stream, I've got five dogs in the house now. So we've acquired our sons too while he's being deployed for the next four months. And they're really not getting along uh, quite that well. I have a grouchy one. She's um, mama's girl and she doesn't really like to share me with anybody else so we've got like almost well we've got like two levels of security when you come in the house there's gates all we need is a metal detector and it would be like 
walking into a, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, like a thumb reader, <laughs> a fingerprint reader. Um, it'd be like walking into a government building or something. <laughs> so anyway, I um, uh, love the red. Yes, lots of red in there. Very good. Hi, Jennifer. All right, okay, so if nobody has any questions, we are going to, are we switching cameras now? Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and switch camera angles and um, get set up, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a kiss pour today for you guys. All right, so we will be right back. Okay guys, so I have a 16 by 20 canvas that I'm going to work on today. Um, can we open this one up? Hold on one sec, a little technical difficulties real quick. Oh, I can't see it. Maybe I, can, maybe I can't see. Oh, I'm right there. I keep forgetting. Okay, sorry guys. Um, I'm used to looking at the, the lens on my camera, but when I'm doing this I can't see it, but I forgot my iPad's right there. Anywho, I've got the canvas in front of me. It is a 16 by 20. And I'm going to be doing, like I said, a kiss pour. And I'm going to show you my colors here real quick. I have got Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. I am also using Soho Payne's Gray. This is one of my favorite um, Payne's Grays. I did buy the Golden. I just haven't used it yet, but it looks really nice also. And then this one is Liquitex Cadmium Free Yellow Medium. And the Fine Touch Thalo Turquoise. This is actually one of my favorite turquoises as well. And for my Cloud Effect Mix, I've got Bare Satin Enamel Ultra Pure White mixed 50-50 with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. All right, so I've got my two cups, and I'm getting kind of low on my cloud effect, so I think next week live I'll mix it. You guys can watch me mix. Oh, also, there is like a 30-minute, <laughs> that would be a long delay, a 30-second delay, so if I don't see your comments, I will um, try to... Uh, answer you as much as I can. My husband's supposed to be watching, but I gotta take a second and let me see. Let me see. Anybody new show up real quick while at Mark Allen? Wine is a good thing. Hey, from Arkansas. Raymunda Marie Ferreira. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna jump right back in here. And, oh, you know what? Got to get my gloves on real quick, guys. I just got my nails done on Monday, and I do not want to wreck them. If you want to see how they look, they're really kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can see. My hands are a little shaky. But um, it's called the cat eye, and it kind of moves. It's like magnetic. Um, and they use magnets, and they shape the, the color. It's actually kind of cool. All right, and... Stuck that in there. I use these specimen cups a lot um, because when I, if I'm using like these small cups and I have some left over, I just, they fit perfectly. I pop those in and even just to pour the paint in to save, they seal pretty nice so you don't have to worry about air getting in there. All right, so I guess just gonna start. 
So I'm gonna start with my cloud effect pour. Now hopefully, like I said, I know I'm getting low, so hopefully I have enough for both of these cups. Because I definitely am going to have to um, make mix some. And I think Sunday, next Sunday, we'll do that. And let's see, we'll go with some turquoise next. Okay. And all of my paints are mixed with um, Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and water. Let me see, Chattanooga, Tennessee. All right, we got people from all over today. Very nice. All right, then I'm going to go with a little bit of Payne's Gray. I love Payne's Gray. It's one of my, um, really one of my favorite colors to use. I always prefer it instead of black, but I actually have been using uh, quite a bit of black lately. Um, I always kind of stayed away from it just because, well, I don't know why. Um, I think a lot of times when I was recording, it would like such a reflection, and so I kind of just stayed away from it, but um, I've had some good results with it lately, so I'm stepping out of my comfort zone just a touch. All right, we'll put a little bit more of the white. I'm getting near the bottom of that container. All right, we'll do some magenta now. dripping I got some drips all right and I think I'm gonna the last time I did this I don't think I used enough yellow so I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow and I think actually the last time I when I did this one I used the fine touch yellow um, but I had the Liquitex uh, already mixed up in my bottle so that's what I'm using and it's a really pretty bright uh, yellow and I think I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit more of this. I'll use what's left in there, I suppose. Get that all gone. I'm curious to see how, when when you do this type of art, you know you have something sometimes in your in your mind that you want it to look like, <laughs> and it never it doesn't do that sometimes. Sometimes you're lucky and it does, but. Other times, not not so much. All right, so I'm gonna move a few things out of the way here, guys. And I am just gonna go ahead. Oh, there's no silicone, uh, nothing, no, no, nothing added to these. So looks like everything else settled to the bottom. You guys can see that. So I'm I I turned them around so they're opposite, and I'm just gonna give them a little pinch. Each cup gets a little pinch there right in the middle. And then, here we go. Try to keep the streams touching. And, oh, see, that happens. It happens every once in a while that they kind of come apart there, but I'm not sure if you guys can, how well you guys can see that. But I really do like doing kiss pours and cloud effect. I think those are some of my favorite pours. I don't know if it's just because I have such good luck with them. Maybe I need to knock on wood because I I really do like doing them. They're really fun. You get such cool um, designs. Oh, now I got a double, a double stream on that one. That one is doing some weird stuff here, guys. I can't really look at the comments either while I'm doing this, so <laughs> I, I will get to you guys in just a second, unless my husband can answer. I don't really know, but. This is looking quite colorful right now. The other one that I did, I got such a good, um, good results with, you know, having so many pretty colors and they blended and I ended up getting some purple and green and orange in there. So I'm kind of hoping that 
this um, happens again. It looks like I'm getting some air bubbles too. So I'm gonna kind of go down a little bit lower and see if that'll help. But let's, I feel like I have a ton of paint in this cup, guys. These are nine ounce, I'll have to double check, but I think these are nine ounce cups and they were pretty full. So the only problem I usually have is trying to, when you get towards the end, trying to get the, the cup right before it, you know, drips out some, you know, weird drips, which is kind of what's happening right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got one. There was like one, one lone drip in there, but you can see that I got quite a few air bubbles. So I am going to pop these air bubbles real quick and then I'm going to look at my comments and then I'm going to start moving this around. I'm going to kind of let it sit for a sec and see if it's going to start. It looks like it's starting to do something. Ooh, so excited. I love this. Um, let's see. Where are we at here? Hi from Richmond, Virginia. Emma. Hi, Emma. Let's see, Carrie. I gotta keep going. Let's see. She's time zone challenged. Hi, Molly. Hey, Molly. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Molly from Molly's Artistry has stopped by. Thanks for joining us tonight, Molly. Um, a short, yeah, short and time zone challenge. Both height and time zone challenged. Uh, let's see, Emma and Anthony. Hi, Anthony. All right, so got another, got one more air bubble there. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that. And I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but it's starting to do some really cool stuff there. So what I think I'm actually gonna do first is I'm gonna take some, um, if you guys watch my videos, you notice that I do this a lot. I'm taking some plain Artist Loft White and I'm gonna put it around the outside. Now for me, I do this because it helps the paint, because this is a dry canvas, and you can, a lot of people coat their canvas first. I, I don't, and there's nothing wrong. You can do it either way. Um, so I just do mine this way, and it helps the paint not stick to the dry canvas so it doesn't pull itself under, if that makes sense to you guys. And then I kind of just do that. Oh. I got some beautiful colors in here, you guys. Oh my gosh. And these cups look really amazing too. I don't know if you can see in there. I always love my cup. All right, I gotta go ahead and pop these air bubbles really quick in the white because that always happens when I'm moving it around there. Okay, I, think I got them all. All right, so now I'm gonna try to lift this and start moving and I'm gonna move it um, in a circle and that's usually how I like to start these and just kind of see and as you can you can see that it just kind of glides really nice so oh my gosh look at that cloud effect it looks really really pretty I don't know if I can't see if you guys are getting any of that all right so I'm gonna kind of go back this way gonna run it off quite yet I'm gonna try to get it to see I keep going back to center um, and you don't have to do that I just like to try to keep um, the the circular you know pattern there in the middle it doesn't always work out but look at those beautiful colors oh my gosh it looks amazing I am totally loving this 
And yeah, I do act a little crazy sometimes, but I get excited about these because they look beautiful. Look at that cloud effect in there. Wow. Okay, so now I gotta debate which way I wanna go. I think I'm gonna go to this corner first. and then kind of run that back. God, there's some beautiful colors in here. Okay, we're going to go all the way to this edge again. Yeah, I don't want to lose all that. That's gorgeous. All right. I can't really see if they can see this, but this is amazing. This is just beautiful. Okay, this may be becoming my new favorite now. I don't know. This is really pretty. Gotta run this off, but not there we go. I don't want to run all that too much, so hold on. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is stop and then I'm gonna use my hand to pull it over. So I don't lose I don't lose all that. And then I'm just gonna run it back this way a bit because this is really pretty. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of paint, so I am gonna run just a touch of this off. And I love this, I'm gonna leave that in the corner like that. I generally like to run it back to the middle, but <laughs> is this in frame? Because this is gorgeous, yeah. oh my gosh. All right, so I'm gonna check the comments a little bit. Um, yeah, Carrie, that is, the magenta and yellow, this is just beautiful right here. I love this. Woo! Um, hey, Karen, you made it. I'm glad you could make it this time. I have paint all over me. <laughs> I don't know how, even when I wear gloves, I get paint up to my elbows half the time. All right, so I am going to go over this real quick with my uh, torch. Just in case, I don't really see any air bubbles, but just to make sure, and I don't know, you guys can see this, this veining right here is, it's beautiful. Wow, this is crazy, I love this. I'm glad I added more yellow. It looks really cool. Okay, I think there's something in there. I got my handy dandy tweezers, because there's something right there. Yep, oh, <sighs> Maximus. It's either a dog hair or a cat hair. So I can't necessarily blame Maximus. It may have been mittens. I'm not really sure. But this looks really good. Yeah, there was one air bubble. Oh my gosh, I'm super happy with this, guys. I think I got paint on my toes, actually. I dripped it off the end. All right, I need another pair of gloves really quick. I don't know about you guys, but I reuse my gloves about a million times. So I have a pile of <laughs> used gloves. Like when I do my videos, I put on a clean pair for you guys. Um, but when I'm just doing stuff in my studio, just messing around, I, um, I work from my, my dirty glove pile. So. I have about 50 in the pile. <laughs> I just want to make sure real quick I got all the corners covered and um, I always use the drips. Um, sometimes if I don't have the exact color and I have some left in my cups or whatever then I just use that and I use a palette knife a lot. So this is really looking beautiful you guys. Um, let's see, Mark Allen. Thank you, it's amazing. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> I do agree. Yeah, this, the way that the, um, it's like the magenta mixed with that, uh, the Payne's gray, and it made this really pretty purple, and it kind of outlined almost the whole through here. I mean, all of it. It looks beautiful, and I got lucky, really, I kind of thought that that purple, look at how pretty that purple is, would kind of create some mud, but yay me. 
I don't have any mud. Look how soft. It's so soft right here. And then it gets really, there's a nice contrast from the dark to the light. Oh my gosh. Love this. I hope you guys like this. <laughs> it's quite stunning from where I'm at. I'm not sure if it's coming across as, as that, but I got some, I got awesome uh, effects on these. I even got like little bubbles. The other one I got more bubbles. This is more, more cloud. Okay, this is really cool. I like the dramatic part right here. Very cool. All right, let's see the dark phase. Yeah, yep. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for all coming back for my second, my second live. I wasn't as um, nervous this time, so but I did start out with you know a little bit of wine pre <laughs> pre live I guess you know it's all right it's all right it's all good it's you know the end of the weekend hopefully everybody you know had a had a good weekend and um, thank you Molly thank you Karen oh. Uh, Carrie, this is a 16 by 20. Um, hopefully you guys all had a good week and you're kind of chilling out tonight with hanging out with me, kind of gearing up for, um, you know, Monday, Ugh, the dreaded Monday. Um, but I do have to say that I'm pretty blessed in my life that this is my, this is what I do. I, um, you know, like I said before with the little, um, a little, what do I want to say? Love from my husband to do some YouTube videos. That that's what I get to do, and then you know it all kind of snowballed, and you know every Sunday now I'm gonna be doing these and hanging out with you guys, and it's really fun. And my husband is involved, and that's cool because you know he's my best friend. So like I said, besides my sister, um, so we get to hang out, we get to do more things together, and I get to create something beautiful like this. And he's in here and, you know, kind of like my cheerleader, if you will. <laughs> so that's great. And I got a beautiful painting tonight. And hopefully you guys can carry this nice um, theme into your week, all these colors, and have a great week. And then be ready for my videos to come this next week. And so I'm going to drink another little drink here real quick. And I think we are going to go switch um, the camera back. So you uh, maybe you don't want to see my face. I'm not real sure. <laughs> but my husband's going to move the camera back. So we'll be right back. Actually, yeah, I think we should do a close up. You want to just hand it to me? Here. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to try to give you a little bit of a closer, because I don't know if you can just zoom in. We're still working out the kinks, guys, just a little. Because we've got some, listen, you know, really, cords and stuff. This is really professional. We're working on it. Just don't drop it in the painting. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. I'm trying to give you a little closer, closer look. Uh, Roxy, yes, I will um, show you. You are a natural on here. Ah, thank you, Melanie. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm hoping you guys got to see that. Um, eventually, I think we're going to get... Oh, look how pretty that looks. Oh, my gosh. That looks great. I got paint all over. <laughs> That's the fun part. It looks a little dark in there, but I think they got the gist because that's
pretty good. Am I live now? Am I good? Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I didn't know he had me already. Oh Lord. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like that. I definitely will show you um, the dried result. Either I'll post it on my Facebook page or I'm not sure if I'm going to do a little video. I may just show it on my Facebook page or next Sunday I'll show it to you. So you got to come back to see it. That'd be great, right? We can hang out again. And I'm definitely going to do my... Um, Next week, I'm going to do my mix. So you have to come back and see how I mix my cloud effect because um, it's empty now. This was a popcorn container that my husband likes to, you know, make um, popcorn in the air popper. And he saved this for me. And it's perfect. It comes with, you know, this like a half a cup lid. It's, it's really good. I love using it. So now anytime we empty a container, no one wants to put it in the recycling because they think I may need it <laughs> to put paint in or, you know, something. So, which is true because you never use all your paint, excuse me, or I don't. I always have, you know, this much or I mix too much. It always happens. And next week I'll have a new wine. So that's exciting. It's something for me to look forward to. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are having a little bit of wine too, relaxing and, um, you know, just like I said, unwinding from the hectic week and kind of just, you know, gearing up or procrastinating even about <laughs> Monday. Oh, well, it'll be a little hectic in our house because everybody's back to work and I got five dogs. But we got to help our son and do what we got to do while he's doing what he has to do. So that's that's how it goes here. So let me check the comments really quick and see what we got. Oh, there's some German wine. Mark's drinking. Gewersch, I don't even know how to spell or pronounce that. So, hi, Teresa, thanks for joining. Hi, you said it as I was writing it so good. You are the best. You put me in the best mood for the start of the week. Good, good, good. Well, gosh, I keep looking at this painting because it just is so beautiful. I don't know what that says. <laughs> My husband's trying to write something to me on this phone, and I can't write it. <laughs> he turned it, and it went poop. <laughs> Are you trying to be, I think he's trying to be like sly or something. That's funny. Oh, Karen, you have no idea. Um about the content that my husband gets. Cause I told him like he should maybe start doing, besides my painting videos, just add like a funny Friday video. Um, because I give him enough content, but he said, I'll just have to be recording you 24 seven. And you know, I mean, I guess that would be my life. There'd be a, a camera in my face all the time. So I think we're gonna still do some funny ones, just not every Friday. Just whenever he gets enough and wants to do one because I'm a good sport I if it's funny it's funny I guess um, I just want to kind of wrap up a little bit I don't want to hog up everybody's evening um, so I know because some of you may have to go get kids ready you know for for bed for school tomorrow and you know whatever jobs or if there's any sports on anybody's got to watch I'm a big hockey fan so I'm not sure if my teams are playing tonight I think not till Monday and Tuesday, um, go Wings, go Pens. Um, so just want to see if you guys have any questions before uh, we kind of call it. Um, let's see, bloopers, yeah, lots of bloopers, serious. Uh, Melody, love your, hub, love your hubby, help you, does he pour also? You know, I've mentioned that he should just give it a try and he said no that's what you do but I did mention again the other day that we should do one together one night um, just so that I could do like an instructional and then it would because he's never done one so I could try to you know you could hear me instruct him on how to do it and follow along but I don't know I think he's more comfortable 
kind of behind the camera making faces at me and you know and commenting like and chuckling and doing all that um, funny stuff behind the camera um, kind of keeping me in line with getting uh, the flow going because I try to prep you know a little bit before the videos and so I take a few notes and my notes are so kind of like kind of like a, a poor painting it's very abstract <laughs> that's how my notes look which means that's how my brain is working it is all over the place so he kind of helps reel me in a bit um, not too much but just a bit to keep it you know kind of a little neater so um, so I think he's I, I don't know I may have to, I may have to work on him a bit about about doing that so um, don't encourage him <laughs> right catch him in a funny moment yeah he does some funny stuff too just not as much as me I guess oh so anyway um, any questions I'm not sure if you guys um, have any questions about the painting about the cloud effect like I said I'm definitely going to be doing uh, my mix so you'll see how I mix it next Friday uh, not Friday next Sunday um, and then we if you have any questions then we can you know go over uh, over that more but I can you know answer some more now um, great comedy show yeah it probably would be a lot of people are wanting us to pour together <laughs> oh it, it might be fun we may have to do a practice one before we go live I don't know I actually I have paint dripping all over my feet from my, my table Jeez. All right, so I think, guys, since no one else has any more, uh, Carla says that you're great. <laughs> FYI, I did create a blooper reel folder. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> he thinks he's being sneaky, but I know what he's up to. I know what he's up to. But it's okay. It's all right. I always make him laugh. I always tell him that his life would be boring without me. He'd be just sitting behind the computer and order pizza every day which he just have like a wall of pizza boxes he'd be surrounded by pizza boxes eventually and then he would, wouldn't even be able to get out I at least have to cook him some nice healthy you know homemade dinners get him get him to laugh a little bit so all right guys I think we're gonna wrap it up um, oh one more question from Karen when you do the cloud pour do you need the paint to be thicker not necessarily not necessarily um, I try to keep all mine the same consistency and mine may be thicker anyway than some of your guys's because um, I've seen the way you know some people have theirs a little thinner mine some people say are thick so we can go over that um, you'll see when I do the cloud when I do my mix you can see I'll show you how thick um, I make them I, I don't know what to really compare it to it's not like warm honey because if you ever warmed honey it's runny so it's not like that it's thicker than that um, maybe I need to do that maybe I need to like heat up a bunch of stuff <laughs> and melt a bunch of stuff and see what it's closest to um, like like melted ice cream I don't know that's even kind of runny so um, I just keep my paints kind of the same consistency unless I'm working with metallics if I'm using all metallics, they're all the same consistency. If I'm working with metallics with other colors, I thin the metallics a little bit because they tend to take over all the colors if they're if they're thicker. So there's that. Um, love the side eye look. Yeah, yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> all right, guys. So I guess I'm really gonna wrap it up now. I've said it like three times already, or if you've seen. Um, Step Brothers, which is one of my favorite movies. I said it four times. So <laughs> this is it. Um, and I'm so happy that you guys joined me. Um, I seem to have a, a little following. I'm so excited. And um, my painting turned out great. So that's like icing on the cake. I got to hang out with you guys. And the painting turned out awesome. And yes, I will be getting you a dried look. All right. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your guys' um, Sunday night, and I hope you have a great week, 
and I will see you next week. All right, bye guys. Yeah, I'm not.